All right. All right. Let's get this uh, adjusted here. Audio. And there we go. We're good to go. What's up, Turtle Riders? How's everybody doing? Uh, we're doing the show today on Wednesday. I got plans tomorrow night. So, uh, you know, I, I don't want to cut you out on a live show. So, uh, you know, here I am on a Wednesday. Happy hump day. Uh, if you guys could go ahead and share this link for me or like it or whatever on the we're getting pretty close to 10,000 on the Turtle Boy Sports page. Uh, it's not really growing fast. I don't know what's going on, but whatever. Get on there. Like that one. Like the Uncle Turtle Boy page. It's got like, I don't know, 17,000 followers. Clarence Ruth Emerson is over 25,000 followers now, so that's cool. Go ahead and like that one. I, I shared them on all. So get on there. I shared it on Twitter. I'm at Dr. Turtle Boy. I'm getting close to 6,000 on there, um, etc. cetera. So uh, I'm postponing the Turtle Club thing to next week. Next Wednesday, we'll be back on there. Uh, still working on that, um, but I don't know. Hopefully, you like it so far. We're still working out the kinks. Once it's, uh, you know, flaw free, then we will uh, officially start to make it where it's like premium only. You got to have the uh, special privileges to get on there, whatever. But anyway, uh, yeah, so this is three nights in a row we're doing this show. Uh, tonight, I want. I'm, you guessed it. I want. I got more coming on Monica Cannon Grant. And uh, are you guys bored with this story yet? Because I'm not. I, I just. I never get tired of calling this brought out. And quite frankly, what else is there to talk about? Like, is there anything else you guys want to talk about? I mean, I'm always free. If you guys ever have any like ideas or topics that you want to talk about, it's always kind of like an open forum, and anyone can call in too. Like, if you want to call, we haven't had a call in in a while. But if you do want to call in. Boom. There's a stream yard link. Okie dokie. So uh, let's pull up. Uh, before we do that, I want to show you another funny video here that I found uh, that a bunch of people are sending me. So this is one of Monica's friends. Monica's friends with uh, this chick named Julia Mejia on the Boston City Council. She's the one that won by one vote in, uh, I think it was 2019, she won. Uh, she's a city councilor. And she supported... She was at the violence in Boston grand opening. Uh, she is, I'm sure she's aware of Monica's past. She just pretends that it doesn't happen, which again, that's how they fight. And before I go off on a tangent here, so the big news out of Washington, D.C. today was that Liz Cheney was whatever. Like she was like the third ranking Republican member of Congress. She, of course, is the daughter of former vice president uh, and warmongering douchebag dick cheney from wyoming and she was censured not censured but like kicked out of her fired basically she's from her third ranking position in the minority party in congress whatever that means i don't even know what the hell they do the thing the top ranking guy is kevin mccarthy and then steve scalise and then her she's number three i don't know how she got that gig but whatever and she got kicked out because she won't shut the fuck up about Donald Trump. She just keeps talking about like Donald Trump saw the, like Donald Trump stole the election. Donald Trump, I uh, know Donald Trump's lying, the big lie about the election, blah blah blah. It's like, yeah, we all know he's lying. Like we know that. Duh. Why are you still talking about this? You're not a Democrat. Why are you talking about this? And I guess my point here is that how it relates to Julia Mejia and people like that is that. No matter how bad their team gets, they stay loyal. Like Monica Cannon Grant, she puts out all this outrageous shit. They don't, they just pretend it never happened. Like that's their plan. Never happened. I didn't see nothing. Just keep going on with your life. Joe Kennedy doesn't take her off the stage, keeps going around with her like it never fucking happened. Meanwhile, Republicans, like, that's what we should be doing. And for the most part, a lot of Republicans are just like, whatever. We don't want to talk about January 6th. I don't know what you're, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's my stance on January 6th is, uh, uh, what, what happened? Oh, so they ran into the Capitol people and then they just sat around and Viking man walked into the Senate and then they read, you know, sat at Nancy Pelosi's desk. Oh, Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm against that, I guess. I don't really have a strong opinion. That should be our official stance. Like, what? What are you talking about? 
But Liz Cheney won't shut the fuck up about it. She just every five minutes, she's got to give another speech about how the big lie or Trump lied. And it's like, who, why are you, are you on their team or ours? What are you doing? And if you want to be some low ranking Republican and do that, that's fine. But you can't be the leader of the team and do it. I'm sorry. Like Nancy Pelosi's got crazy people in her party too. AOC, Ilan Omar, they say outrageous shit. Maxine Waters, like four weeks ago, less than that, like three weeks ago, was like trying to literally incite a revolution in Minneapolis and telling people to th like threaten police officers if George Floyd's, if Derek Chauvin wasn't found uh, guilty for murder, murdering uh, George Floyd. They put her up for a censure vote in Congress. Was she censured? Nope. Nope. Because every single Democrat, all 268 of them voted no. And that's how you do it. And that's how a winning team plays. And that's why I'm not on the school committee, basically, is that they are a better team than us. They are a much better team because we have losers like Liz Cheney. And they don't have anything like that, like nothing resembling that. And so we got to start kicking these people out. It was absolutely the right thing to do. Get her the hell out of here. If you have negative things to say about Donald Trump, see you later. Okay. I got negative things to say about Donald Trump too. But if I was in Congress, I wouldn't say them out loud. I would just close my mouth. What, 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 what insurrection? I don't know what you're talking about. That should be the official stance. Okay. That's what they do when their people do bad. They're just like, I don't know. Mm. Next topic. That's all you do. Just ignore it and move on. And they'll they let the outrage cycle move, but not Liz Cheney. So she can go fuck right off. So anyway, this, this is a team player, this Julia Mejia person, but she's also like the stupidest person I've ever, you got to hear this. You got to hear this clip. I, I couldn't believe when I heard this today. So they're, she's talking about violence in Boston and I guess they're asking how they can reduce it and wait till you hear, have you guys seen tape yet? Has anyone seen this? Wait till you hear what she blames violence in Boston on. Guys, let me hear your guesses. What do you guys think she blames? <laughs> let me see if anybody can guess it. Go go ahead in the comments right now. See 180 something people in here right now. Let's see if you can guess. Huh. White people, COVID, racism, white people, white people, cops, <laughs> white supremacy, racism. These are good guesses. These are good guesses. The gas shortage. These are all solid guesses, but no, it, it's none of the above. Let's listen here. Hi, yes. Um, one last question, and I'm not sure if this fits within this department, but I'm just really curious about... Um, uh, if there's any opportunity to kind of cool things down during the summer uh, through uh, some of the efforts, I think it's asphalt um, in certain neighborhoods. It gets a little bit harder. And then because so oftentimes I think there might be a correlation with some of the violence that we see in our streets just because there's just no real space to cool things off. So is this part of your jurisdiction? Can we talk about that? Uh, I think what <laughs> asphalt it's asphalt causes violence or I, I gotta play that again like this is real hi yes um one last question and i'm not sure if this fits within this department but i'm just really curious about um oh my god uh, if there's any opportunity to kind of cool things down during the summer uh through uh some of the efforts I think it's asphalt um, in certain neighborhoods. It gets a little bit harder. And then because so oftentimes I think there might be a correlation with some of the violence that we see in our streets just because there's just no real space to cool things off. So is this part of your jurisdiction? Can we talk about that? Oh, my God. Uh, Lady, uh, you can kiss my asphalt. What the <laughs> Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Appreciate that. Green Hornet, Fall River Raw. Thank you. Uh, Verdict for Jazzy's tomorrow, right? Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, by the way, if you guys feel like donating to the program, there's a little, uh, it's called the Super Chat. 
You can have, hit that button and you get a little thing like Jeff did there. You write a little message or you can donate to the, and thank you to also to RETV FB. Did you watch Monica Cannon granted? Yes. We are going to talk about that. Uh, so the answer was asphalt. If the answer was asphalt. She's not joking. She was dead serious. And by the way, if my cash app is dollar sign, Uncle Turboy, if you prefer it that way as well. Uh, she's not kidding. She's blaming violence in Boston. She's like, how can we combat violence? I have a theory. It's this goddamn asphalt. What can we go back to dirt roads? Is that what she said? Can we maybe some rubber? Maybe rubber roads. Can we invest in that? Or we could just have like a big we'll just turn Boston into a big bouncy house. And we can all just jump everywhere. <laughs> that will stop violence. It's that goddamn asphalt. People are like gangsters are out there and they're just like, you know what? I'm calm right now, you know, because I'm up in the north end and they got brick roads up there and shit. Oh, thank you, Heritage Wealth Planning. They got uh, brick roads up in the north end. It's historical up there. So I'm, I'm feeling good about them. I'm not like going to kill a motherfucker right now. <laughs> but... Put me around some asphalt in a hot summer day. Ain't no telling what I'm going to do. I'm going to start collecting from motherfuckers. <laughs> God damn. Asphalt. This is one, a major merit. This is a major American city. And this is governs it. <laughs> this is a city where like the United States of America was founded. Like it was governed by John Adams and great visionary leaders and John Hancock. <laughs> And now that that's in charge. The woman who's blaming asphalt for gun violence. <laughs> I almost wish she blames white people. That would, that would have been less stupid than asphalt. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> okay. So let's uh, watch. So Monica Cannon Grant, if you'll recall on Saturday, she said she was doing the autopsy. They, they send it to the witch doctor in Ohio or whatever, the out-of-state witch doctor. And the witch doctor is doing a two-hour autopsy, and it's been way more than two hours. So what's up with that, Monica? Let's find out, shall we? Hmm. No, don't want that. Did it go away? All right. What is that? Did she fart? What is she doing? What is that face? Did it pause? Oh, why? What's going on, Monica? Come on, don't don't crap out of me here. I'll download this video if I have to. Let me see. Download Facebook video. There we go. And download in normal quality. Okay, here we go. We got it over here. All right, let's get out of this one. Stop. Let's share this one here. Okay. Can I blow this up? All right. Well, here we go. These videos, and they now have a whole reasons why it's been few and far between with me posting and going live is because we've been trying to make sure that Malcolm Triple uh, XL has adequate legal representation. Um, and they now have adequate legal representation. Um, and so there will be a bunch of huge announcements coming in the next days from the legal representation. So what? a lot of the work being done behind the scenes was gathering information. A lot of the neighbors and a lot of the people from Hopkinton, believe it or not, have been reaching out to talk. Um, hey, Rosa, good afternoon. I'm here and I love everything 
that you're involved in for this baby. Thanks. I appreciate it because I've been catching hell. Um, but yeah, Can you guys so see that all right? Part of the reason why I haven't went live and done a bunch of talking. Um, I had a question about the next rally. Some people had questions whether the Black Panthers are going to be in attendance, had any affiliation. Yes, the Black Panthers will be. Oh, um, great. At the next rally on the 21st. Um, and shout out to the regional director of the Black Panther movement from Atlanta um, and Massachusetts, um, who actually put together that flyer. Um, and they will be in attendance on the 21st. And I'm really looking forward to that. Um, part of the reason why it hasn't been a bunch of talking is because of legalities. Oh, um, legalities. Got to be careful because they're trying every tactic in the book to try to attack this family. Oh, yes. So just be mindful of what we say. And Always we say the victim. It. And making sure that we say allegedly after and before everything is super important. Okay, so now Monica's going to be careful with her words, guys. She's like, I, because she watched the stream and she heard me talk about suing her. So now we're going to say allegedly before everything. Bitch, you haven't said allegedly before. You didn't say I was allegedly a white supremacist. You didn't say that, you know, these kids allegedly did this. You said they did it like a bunch of times. And she's going to say it a bunch of times in this video, as we're going to see. This is just, and it's all, it's her, like I said, it's basically her alone now. Tamika Mallory has disappeared. Bishop Swan disappeared. Tito Jackson has yet to say anything about this since last week. Nothing. Will any of them show up at the rally on the 21st? Like, is Tito Jackson really going to take part in that? I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, but as I was saying, now that she has adequate legal representation, so much um, is going to uh, come out so much information. I mean, the people of Hopkinton have been coming forward with information. I've even had, you know, individuals in the media field be like, none of this makes sense. We what? In the woods, we looked at the trees. There's no way that this girl hung herself. Um, legal expert, e experts have said, there's just no way. Not standing on your feet would have been. So she talked to guys. This is serious now. This is serious. She talked to people in the media her homegirl, Tori Bedford, maybe. And, quote-unquote, legal experts. Legal experts have told her that there's no way this girl killed herself. No way. The experts all told her that, guys. She, can, she regularly confers with experts. This woman is a pathological liar and the ultimate scam artist. Um, I'm not sure if her supporters are aware of this because, of course, they're not. They're dumbasses. Uh, there are no legal experts. That's completely made up. It's just a 100% lie. There's no legal experts. There's no autopsy. That definitely didn't happen. There's no independent investigation. And this whole thing is just a way for her to get you to donate to her and the mother so that they can go out for drinks and get the hair done. That's all. That's all this is. There's not going to be an investigation. Nothing is going to come of this. This protest of Mary and Ryan will do nothing uh, except get more people to donate. That's it. That This whole thing is a scam and she knows it and she hates the fact that I'm out here calling her ass oh, out. Around your neck. It just can't happen. Just can't happen. Um, can't happen. But also guys, for as much as I know everybody wants updates on the case, I want to highlight something. If you guys who understand and support this family could send so much love this mom's way, you don't realize how toxic something is until you see somebody else go through it. Um, I've been attacked by white supremacists and turtle boys and all of these organizations since um, 2017. True, yeah, yeah. So for me, it under has attack. become my norm. It is my norm to go through a lot of the stuff, but for this mom who was in the middle of grieving while having her character assassinated, while being attacked publicly, it is not her norm. And it is really 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 hard the child abusing to, mother the child abusing me, mother hold both things at the same time and so if you guys could just send so much love her way um she's purposefully staying out of the public eye and purposefully taking time to just grieve um and any parent should be allowed that space and what these white folks have done clear folks clear folks um caitlin's family Ooh. has than to attack her character, attack Michaela's character, and slander her, and um, just send all the prayers and all the love. First of all, all we don't have to attack the mother's character. She does that herself. She's arrested for child abuse. 
That happened. That happened in real life. She was arrested for abusing her child. The charges are still open. We don't have to attack her character. She did that for us. Like pointing this out. Just because your kid dies doesn't mean it absolves you of crimes that occurred before your child died. And I like to point out, like, that child is dead largely because of you. Like, it's largely your fault. You were not there for her. You're a deadbeat. You're always getting your swerve on in Chicago. And it is what it is. Um, if you do um, know who she is, send messages. Just let her know that um, she has so many more people that love and support her than she does against her because it's it's a heavy load to bear. I'll give you a heavy load. And just being a mom and being on calls with her and listening to her cry will rip you apart. Um, just given everything that's happening all at the same time. And the only thing that she wants from any of this is justice. The only thing that she all wants right, to see justice. happen right, right, right. is those who are responsible for what happened to her daughter be held accountable. Yeah, that's so what this is about, I justice. reiterate any message, that would be the message I'm grateful to her and her family for allowing me to be on a team of people helping her through this process. But it, it's been tough. Um, I think it's going to get a little bit, um, it's not going to be as tough as we go forward now that she has some protections in place and some representation and people to be able to utilize her voice. I do want to shout out all the organizations who have reached out to me in regards to Michaela, yesterday, uh, Talib Kweli posted about Michaela. Ebony Magazine posted about Michaela. Ebony Magazine. It's been viral to say the least. Uh, she's just re like, this is desperate. When I heard this part, she's like trying to act like this is still the big story of the week. It's Sorry, Monica. This was like so last week. White folk done moved on, girl. You lost their attention. You had their attention for like 48 hours there. And then Turtle Boy came along and blew your shit up. And now you got to live quilly. That's about it. You got you got the mentally deranged guy who got kicked off of Twitter who calls everybody a racist. That that's literally all you got left. A washed up early two thousands rapper. It's not nearly as hyped up as you think it is. But go on, girl. Go on. Please. Um, I had an amazing conversation with one of the founders from Black Lives Matter who oh. they're going to send uh, support on the ground what does that mean? for uh, Michaela's who? family who? and do a petition and the amount of support that this family... So what does that mean? You're going to send... Who's the leader of Black Lives Matter you talked to? I don't think she did that. I don't think anyone from... What even is a leader of Black Lives Matter? What, who's the president? Patrice Collins? Like, is this a real organization? Like, who's in charge of Black Lives Matter? What does it even mean? Who'd you talk to? What does that mean? They're going to send people. They're going to send, he goes, they're going to send, they're going to do a petition. Oh, ho, ho, ho. not a change.org petition. Whoa. Stop the fight. <laughs> this is getting serious now. Mary and Ryan, she didn't see that one coming, baby. You, hoo, hoo. Mary and Ryan's playing checkers and these motherfuckers are playing chess. The long game. Change.org petition coming your way. Go on. Is receiving. I can't be anything but grateful. Um, in between all of the controversy, in between all of the negative stuff that gets said, when when one of us is harmed, our ability to come together and make stuff happen um, is a true testament of why this is now getting national attention. And um, <laughs> for those things, I'm grateful. I'm grateful I was able to use my platform to amplify it in a way that made people want to pay attention to it. Yeah, for like five I'm, minutes. I'm, I'm extremely grateful for that Jim Browdy interview. Yeah, because I bet you are. The discrepancies and the things that this district attorney has said thus far with a clear understanding that she has gone above and beyond to cause this mom more pain and harm. How? Um, and slander her. She doesn't slander. What? Because she is in her feelings that we had the audacity to say that she's incompetent, which she is. Um and very arrogant and just it, it's it's been it's been interesting now look at i've been saying mary and ryan's incompetent for years but that's because she let jared remy kill his his baby mama uh <laughs> these people have so like she's a democrat she's on your team stupid <laughs> 
And Monica's just like, I'm willing, like she knows that Marion Ryan's not covering anything up, but she's like, I'm willing to try to use my mob. I will try to throw this white bitch under the bus <laughs> for my own benefit. That's all this is for her own goddamn benefit. She will throw anyone under the bus. So, I just want to say those things out loud. <sighs> if I'm out of breath, it's because I just ate chicken and hot sauce and I'm pregnant. Oh my God. Oh um, no. I did check in with Michaela's mom today just to encourage her. Um, and let her know that she is entitled to go through her grieving process. She's um, not grieving. She sees fit. No, she... Nobody can dictate that to her. But definitely wanted to check in with you guys. And let you I've yet to see her like really cry. And we're awaiting the autopsy report, which we should have cross fingers by the end of the week. Oh. She has now secured legal representation. So oh. She... So there it is. The autopsy guys will be here by the end of the week. So that's Friday. So we're going to hold it to that, right? By Friday, she said the autopsy report, the, the two-hour autopsy report that she sent to the witch doctor in Tennessee is going to be here, she promises, by the end of the week. She pinky swears. It's real. It's real. She she sent in uh, her team in there, and they, they went into the morgue, and they got the body, and they put it in a, they kept it on ice. They shipped it over to an unnamed state, and the unnamed witch doctor did his two-hour examination. And he's going to let us know real soon, by the end of the week. You paid for that. Don't All that money you donated, it went to something. Just know that. It's not a scam. It's a, She swear to God, it's not a scam. Not at all. <laughs> it does not have to be her own investigator and her own CSI. Um, oh. And be gathering information because this police department refuses to do so. Um, and I am extremely grateful to everybody who has jumped into support, who has helped me phone calls, and who has amplified that justice for Michaela needs to happen. It doesn't take Ray Charles, excuse me, to figure out. She loves to name old that this wasn't blind and black guys. That's not, her favorite some thing. Of the stories that we've gotten and statements that we've gotten have confirmed what we've thought. Um, what? Everything from just these kids stating to other friends. That um, that um, they went to jump Michaela. What? And, um, an accident happened and she died. Okay, I'll listen to this. Friends, these kids stating to other friends. Listen to what she just said there. That this wasn't a suicide. So she's saying this was not a suicide, no doubt about it. So how do you know it's not a suicide? And believe it or not, some of the stories that we've gotten and statements that we've gotten have confirmed what we thought. Um. Everything from just these kids stating to other friends that um, that um, they went to jump Michaela and um, an accident happened. And she, that they went to jump Michaela and an accident happened and what? She died. And she died. Remember at the beginning of the tape when she said that she was going to use the word allegedly? Did you hear the word allegedly there? No. She just outright said it. I mean, this woman is a walking libel case. Every, this is slander, actually. This is actual slander because it's spoken, defamation. She can't shut up. It's like there's no way violence in Boston is going to exist that much longer. She's going to, like, she cannot shut the fuck up. And all she does is slander people. It, and eventually that's going to, it's going to catch it. You can't just go around making shit up about it. You can't just say, that five white kids murdered a, a black girl. You can't do that. <laughs> so they're saying here that uh, the <laughs> literally that, or not allegedly that they, there was an accident. So now, now it's coming together. Now it's coming together. She heard it through the grapevine that these five kids, they told, and they told people, of course, they, they couldn't shut up about it. They were like, Hey, we were, we were going to kick the shit out of her, but there was a little accident and, she dead, so we staged, we staged the suicide, and we thought we got away with it. We thought we got away with it, but little did we know that Monica Cannon Grant was on the case. Malcolm Triple XL was on the case, and uh, the jig's officially up. It's up. Um, just all kind of narratives, trying to decipher what's real, what's not, what's the truth, and what's not is uh, the challenge and all of this, which is why 
I was so, so happy about her getting uh, black legal representation. Oh, she has, um, oh, she has a black lawyer. Black so, lawyer. Okay, so that, because um, that makes a difference. That's what I got, guys. If you guys have any questions, if there's anything you want to know, now is the time. You um, know, there was a 0.0% .0 chance she would hire a white. First of all, she hasn't hired any attorney. But her imaginary attorney, there was no way the imaginary attorney was going to be white. 0.0% .0 chance. She has to have a black lawyer because she only shops at black owned businesses and has black attorneys. That's just how she rolls. Because she's, she don't, in case you don't know, Monica Cannon Grant, not a fan of white people. Not a fan. Doesn't like when they fuck black people uh, at all. She really hates that. Doesn't like when they represent black people. Doesn't really like them when they're doing anything except kissing her ass and giving her money. That's the kind of white folks she like, you know? Go on, girl. For the next couple of us, uh, minutes, just responding to you guys. And trying she to must think about me 24-7. She um, must just be like, this fucking this guy won't leave me alone. Um, I've been in constant phone calls and constant Zooms and... Uh, Skype calls and, and she looks like a thumb. Imagine. I will say that the amount of people that reached out to offer legal representation, which I can't discuss now, oh. but I will be able to discuss. After, oh, and she can't discuss um, now, right? Right, right. Some announcements. Oh, some announcements uh, are coming happen. up, right? Yeah, yeah. Why it's so amazing the amount of support that this family yeah. can get. Yeah, all these and lawyers so what we need, are lining up. Um, right now, um, I'll call you and I'll. I'll describe for you what the need is but i think the biggest need is support for this mom so i know that me and you were supposed to connect in regards to dj's mom um it would definitely help for her to be able to get support from moms who have actually experienced this um and me and you can connect on that offline and make that connection because it's, it's tough uh, every day is tough and i can only imagine um we want to know how are you doing you take on so much. Oh, you yes. You care about your, your well-being. You're the hero, Monica. Good. Are you okay? I'm, I'm a little over five months pregnant. Oh, yes. Um, actually, at Violence in Boston, because food pantry is happening today, uh, everybody else is up front working the food pantry. I'm sitting in the back just finished eating chicken and hot sauce. Oh, yeah, chicken and hot sauce. Um, I'm trying to do what I can. I secured a amazing contract today with a, a major wholesale chain. So now, when emergencies happen, violence in what? Boston has contracts. Is that true? To be able to place that might actually be true. Situations um, that involve shootings or stabbings, and they can't go back home. Um, I've when isn't this bitch eating chicken and hot sauce? Do, I mean, um, I feel like she's. Called continue to apply pressure i know it seems superficial but always got a bucket of food next to her at all times um call the all da I say is, is there yeah some announcements made and then you guys will understand oh yes to remain silent. who's a bigger so, con a bit, um, who's a bigger con artist seriously guys her or k peter because i mean both of them they always have the oh it's coming the lawsuit remember the lawsuit against me that kate was gonna have the lawsuit's coming coming any day now oh yeah when's it coming just keep donating no no just keep donating and the followers for both for both of them are just don't care and they just keep doing they just don't it's amazing it's amazing you never have to produce anything what a racket why why do these people donate it's it's the same reason me they hate me <laughs> they're just like fuck it i know this bitch is scamming me but I just really hate that motherfucker. And she, you know, she takes the punches for me. So fuck it. Here's my cash. That's all this is. Oh, good Lord. Good Lord. Yeah, it's true. At least, like she's a much more successful grifter than Kate is because, because she can play the black card. And the story. I mean, that's what, she, and she's like, kind of like Kate is craftier than her. Certainly. Uh, and not like, and Kate's crazier than her. Like she is, um, you know, she's kind of bitch to hack into your account and write a threat to herself. Like she's not like, she'll do anything. Monica Cannon Grinch is more fucking stupid. Uh, but they're both very similar scam artists. Uh, they both, and they are, Kate has let herself go. It is not looking good, man. Not looking good. Is the fuzzy, is the fuzzy, uh, potato still in town? I don't know. I haven't been following. 
fuzzy potatoes. Let I, I I don't really follow the fuzzy potato, but um, from what I've seen, some people send me some videos. I guess they're just going outside of like they went to her boyfriend's, not her husband, her boyfriend's work, and uh, just just stood outside and like put his phone number up there, and then they went outside of Masshole Mitch's uh, employer, which is the town of Reading. He works for the cemetery department, and. Yeah, that, that's that's about it. I'm like, come on, fuzzy tomato. You got to be better. You you flew all the way here for that. Come on, you got to confront them. Give me something to work with here. Anyway, let's go on. Gonna explode and hit the ground running. Um, but yeah, I'm doing okay. Um, like in between all of this, I think people fail to realize I still got to be a parent. So I had to go pick one kid up from college. Uh, college and, and really... up all her stuff and bring her home and what? you know semesters are ending and this then is I have no... one kid who's wrapping up high school and finals are happening so it's a lot happening. Does she really have a kid so, in college? CJ is two but he runs everybody and that's real. So, um so proud of you thank you much love to you thank you so much I appreciate it. It's been tough. I get attacked I'm still getting attacked. Oh she's the victim. Um, I read some messages that I'll probably post after this live just to show y'all. The attacks haven't stopped. They're very nasty and derogatory. And some of these things that these white people say to you, you'd be like, really? Like you had that amount of time? But it comes with the process. Um, I've kind of been being attacked since 2017. So at this point, it's not nothing they can say that I haven't heard. She's a warrior. Um, but it's definitely a heavy load to bear. You are a heavy um, load to bear. I'll tell you that much. And just, you know. You get accused of political motivations and all kind of stuff. Again, no, no funds exchanged, no funds being raised. I don't need it. No funds being raised. Um, Are you fucking I'm kidding me? For office for anything. Um, I ran in 2016 and that was enough for me. So her page like has her cash app um, and PayPal right on it. My main focus is helping this family get accountability. And I use that in exchange for justice only because justice would mean that Michaela would still be here. So there's that. Uh, we are fortunate to have you fight every day for us. <laughs> I appreciate that, Cynthia, because leave it to everybody else. Monica's fighting globally and ignoring her own community, which is wild. Um, but also, I'm never going to be the one to out everything that I do because it's nobody's business but those families. So if I waited for this community to ordain me, I would have been in trouble a long time ago. So there's that. But um, yeah, guys. Um, it's ongoing. As as soon as the autopsy report comes back, that will be a, a, a full Friday. press conference. Oh, full um, press conference. Press conference. Uh, and we're patiently waiting just because they wanted to make sure they did everything to the... So let's guess what happens right now. What's going to happen with that, guys? Do you guys think there will be... Will there be... Will she pull, like, some fake doctor out of nowhere? Like, she, I feel like she's going to present, like the official doctor of the nation of Islam or something's going to come out there with his bow tie on and be like, oh, I did a thorough investigation of the corpse and I've determined this child died of white supremacy. Yes, she did. No more questions. No more questions. <laughs> I can totally picture something like that happening, you know? Um, or I can just picture her just never bringing it up again and moving on to the next topic. I can also picture that happening. The autopsy itself has um, wrapped up, but we're just waiting for the report to come. I have to actually check in after this live video to check in on it. Um, but just want to make sure that everything is done um, efficiently and adequately and that this family gets the necessary answers that they need. And even though we have the independent autopsy, we still need an independent investigation. Still need it. Um, independent. If, even with the independent autopsy. Having D.A. Marion Ryan in charge of this case is still deadly and problematic. Oh, for deadly. Family. Yeah, yeah. Um, for multiple reasons. Yeah. And extremely harmful. Um, I received a message today that stated that um, the police in Hopkinton had actually directed uh, the. We know what race. To go on Turtle Boys. What? Instead of going to uh, NBC or ABC. And a lot of that is white supremacy. <laughs> So the cops, the Hopkins cops told Caitlin's mom to come on with me instead of um, NBC or whatever, because white supremacy, of course. <laughs> what? The police told her to come on with me. The police won't give that poor woman a straight answer. 
You kidding me? Oh. Um, and just pure hatred. Um, but it also goes to show the relationship between the two and how intertwined they are. And for all those reasons is why this case needs to be removed out of that police department and from Middlesex District Attorney's Office. The other thing that we're dealing with behind the scenes, and you know, I be trying to be uh, diplomatic and I'm gonna try to be diplomatic in the way that I say this, but I really have no game face, is that whew, all skin folk ain't Kim folk. Oh my God, um, that's a Tamika Mallory line. Black. She As stole that. Leaders of some of these organizations. Um, all of our skin folk uh, ain't kin folk. And are just as problematic as this district attorney. In fact, spend their days caping for her. Daniel Cameron. Your own mama ashamed of you. Um, in order to infiltrate and play both sides. And it's very disgusting. Oh, yes. Um, the issue I have is, is I'm really comfortable dragging clear folks. It's a little bit more difficult when they're the same color as you. <laughs> It's I'm really comfortable dragging clear folks. That's us guys. We're the clear. We're, we're white. We're just so they can see right through us. She can see right. We're clear. We're clear. <laughs> we're opaque. You can just see. You can see the green screen behind me. I'm so fucking clear. <laughs> she don't mind dragging clear folk, but she does. She doesn't like dragging. You know, her people as she would call them. I no, I don't view it that way. I view all people as all people. But she obviously doesn't really care for us, clear folk. And she she doesn't mind dragging us, but she doesn't feel comfortable dragging black people. Because she's talking about, like, you know, the fact that in the black community, she is not well-liked at all. And she's not getting much support from the black community at this point. Most of her supporters at this rally I was there, like, it's almost all white people. Shout out to my homegirl, Tori Bedwin. She white, too. But go on. Go on, Monica. I try not to, just because um, we face enough that would um, be funny. from outsiders, even though they don't hesitate to do it to me. I just, my values won't let me do I'm going to adopt her kid, too. I will say is that uh, it's been an uphill battle on both sides, from those that look like us that want to kumbaya to those that don't look like us that uh, want to cover everything up that's happening. But when you have white neighbors, white leaders, white media, and everybody's saying none of this makes sense, and you know you're on the right track. Um, and I oh, think she's... the collective of people realizing who have went into those woods, who have looked at those trees and those branches. And... She's on the right track, guys, because she talked to a couple people, and, and they're like, you're, you're on, I think you're on to something. And she's like, oh, I can smell it. We're this close to cracking the case. We're this fucking close because it wasn't a suicide. We all know that. We'll just ignore those text messages. That That's nothing. That's not real. Good Lord. Realize that there's no way in hell at 5'5 five, five and 180 pounds that this young lady hung herself. Why? No way in hell. She so, wasn't like hanging. That's what she I have to choked herself. Um, stay tuned. I promise you. Just stay tuned. Stay focused. Keep sharing her flyer. Keep sharing our Facebook event. Keep pushing justice for Michaela. Encouraging people to not stop the conversation because I think that's the other thing that this DA is counting on is that the white media to die yeah. out and, and it's going to go away so that she can get ready, attempt to run for attorney general. Um, and is she on. I've been going at this from day one and nothing adds up. People have gotten arrested. For That's an interesting comment. So she thinks Marion Ryan's going for attorney general because it's assumed that Maura Healy will go for governor. That's interesting that Monica would say that, which makes me wonder, is she backing a candidate for a turn? That's like Marion Ryan's potential opponent. And maybe she's working on behalf of that opponent to try to like, because like her obsession with Mary and Ryan is weird. It doesn't make any sense. So I'm like, I wonder if it's like that, you know? Go ahead, Mari. Just thinking out loud here. Spitting on someone, she got beat up and reported it. Not only did she get beat up and reported it, but if you watch the Jim Browdy interview and me and Jim press her, she says it was a crime committed. There was blood on Michaela's lip. She had a black eye. 
and if, if she had a black if, eye um, that's a new criminal act happened then why wasn't their arrest made the reason why an arrest wasn't made is because these individuals are white and connected oh um, well, that's why because if this was five black kids they would have been arrested the night of their faces would have been plastered everywhere and they would have been held held until the investigation was done to see had they like this is such nonsense that so if if there was five black kids that went to an apartment to pick up some clothing and the white kid they were meeting inside lost their mind and started bashing their head against a pool table and freaking out and throwing clothes everywhere. And then one of the five black kids girl punched the white kid and the other black kids broke it up. Monica believes that all five of them would have been arrested and held indefinitely without bail. <laughs> that's what she's saying. This, no, that's not how any of this works. <laughs> Every your girl from Hopkinton would have bailed them out from the Massachusetts bail fund. Stop! What are you talking about? Those are minors. I can be held out bail because somebody popped another one in the face. What are you talking about? Oi! Actually, committed a homicide. Oh, everything in this case. Wait, what'd she say? This is a homicide? Strictly against what normally happened. They would have been arrested the night of. Their faces would have been plastered everywhere. And they would have been held until the investigation was done to see had they actually committed a homicide. Everything in this case has been done. Uh, That's exactly what it is, Emily. What That's exactly happened. what it is. And for those reasons, I think it's important to have fresh eyes. And when we say independent investigation, I want to be clear. Massachusetts is like six degrees of separation. And by the way, uh, Emily, I just want, that's a great comment. A great point. And Monica is just frothing at the mouth for her own personal Breonna Taylor here in Massachusetts. That is exactly what this is. This, this is these, this is the racism industrial complex. They need stuff like that to happen. They need it. It is their lifeblood. And it's not happening organically. That's the problem. She's like, why can't the fucking cops just kill somebody black? What the hell? I'm like trying to, I need something to work with here or else what the fuck else am I going to do all day? I need to make money. And it's just not happening on its own. So she has to make something up. Go on. So no, we don't want your homegirl from another county doing a case because we know that all of y'all talk. Oh, y'all go and have tea and crumpets and drink wine. Oh, we're no longer doing the cheese sandwiches. We're doing tea and crumpets. I think she thinks we're British now. Uh, we tea and crumpets and wine, not chickens and hot sauce. So um, she doesn't want the Middlesex DA to do it, but she doesn't want the Essex DA to do it, or the uh, you know the Worcester County DA. Or the Norfolk County DA or the Plymouth County DA. No, no, no. Because they're all homegirls, she said. They all talk. Maybe Suffolk. She'll do. But who, who's going to do it? Who's going to investigate this, Monica? Who? Tell me. And put your feet up. We want the FBI. Oh, the FBI. <laughs> we want the feds to take over the investigation. Yeah, that's what we because... want. Does she think the feds are independent? Like, how are they? Like, the feds aren't touchable? Like, what are the feds going to do? What? Yeah, we're gonna get J. Edgar Hoover is gonna come on down here and be like, "Ooh, we gotta investigate this thing." Oh my God, what a joke! Um, the relationship, the political relationships are strong in Massachusetts, and um, we yes. just want to be clear. That clear folk. Someone who's not uh, in relationships with these politicians can take a fresh look at this case and give this family answers. Yeah, Franklin um, County. That's the number one goal. Any count. I know some people had questions around um, the fundraiser. From day one, mom has not wanted to raise money. What? Um, mom started it in her own name. That jumping into a legal case and a legal pursuit in this process um, may ensue costs along with may. the fact of being able to take care of her other child and just survive. None of those things. Whoa, 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 whoa. To her other child is 24 doesn't live with them. So they're like, why did all this money go towards? Well, there could be legal costs down the road. We have a team of lawyers that are working for free, but there could be legal costs down the road. So we just need, you know, just shut up and give me your money. Just white supremacy. Just shut up and pay me, please. 
Um, the same way white folks throw up fundraisers when little Becky wants to make aprons. Oh, yes, Becky. They throw up fundraisers because somebody wants to make sweaters and donate them to Children's Hospital is how I believe that this family is going to need all the support that they're going to. Yes. That's... All the support in the world, which they're going to need in order to navigate through this process. So. Um, us white folk in yeah. our bake sales we are um, so yeah. she pegged yeah, us guys sadly if the police had arrested her attackers right away Michaela most likely would still be alive absolutely if they had um, arrested have testimony from residents who are like no notice she's not saying allegedly if if they had arrested her attackers right away she would be alive so if the cops had gone there and arrested five kids only one of whom hit her that Michaela would not be dead. So that means that Michaela did not commit suicide. And what she's implicitly saying there is that these five kids killed her because they could not have killed her if they were in jail. So she, she didn't say allegedly. She's again telling you right there, these kids killed her. She's calling these children murderers. Go on. The cameras are always working, but the woman in the office doesn't like is not fond of people of color and can be easily bought. Oh, so that, like the camera footage does not exist. Oh, um, so she say, so there's no camera footage from inside the clubhouse of the incident. Cause remember the, the camera wasn't working. It's because the woman who's in charge of the cameras, she's, she can be easily bought. She, who won't this woman slander? Who won't this woman slander? It's insane. So it'll be interesting to see, uh, how this company responds to someone needs to sue this country to how does the whole month of April disappear uh, and not be odd. Um, and so, yeah, there are multi layered of discrepancies, the connectivity to this Hopkinton police department, exactly the connectivity to relationships, knowing that a lot of the small businesses in Hopkinton donate to the police organization. So everybody is in bed with each other. Oh, I, I honestly quite feel like, <laughs> so the, the small businesses in Hopkinton are also in on it because they donate to the police department. Does she have any, what, what small business in Hopkinton donates to the police department? And so like the, what the local pizza shop is in on this too. What the fuck is this lady talking about? Oh, I'm like, desperate, desperate. This is like, CSI oh. or Law and Order oh. SVU. Oh. I feel like I stepped into a case that happened in Mayberry. I know you think. I was talking. And yeah. I have to really dig and like oh. over things and dig. She's digging. The amount of conversations that have taken place with residents, like meet me in a dark alley and let's have this conversation, is a, is wild. Wild. But that's literally what's happening on the ground right now, just trying to get information. And it's sad that this mom has had to play the own investigator. Yes. Her daughter's case due to the negligence and incompetence. Yes. Monica, office. Monica's way more competent than Mary and Ryan, for sure. I went hard and I made some calls, and so she won't have to do that anymore. Oh, you went hard. Um, yeah. But it's it's been a lot. And every day I get information. People leave messages on my website. I had somebody leave a message on my website saying that they had some recordings that we needed to listen to. Oh, what is that? How do you get an independent investigation? Why is it so hard to do? So, because the district attorney handles, first off, um, Middlesex is what? Yeah, it's a good question. Counties, Middlesex district attorney's office used to be one of the most powerful in the state. Um, not so much anymore. What it used to be? Um, it's it's the extremely difficult. Biggest county in Massachusetts. An that a district attorney should be able to take a case and actually do it. The applying pressure and hopefully, fingers crossed, with a petition coming, um, is to state that she has proved time and time again that she is incompetent and covers up information. Uh, in one case, which y'all seen from my first live, she hid like 19 documents out of the case. To the average eye, you wouldn't know it's missing, but from a legal standpoint, you can recognize that so much had been redacted. What? And so it's tough. Also, the fuck it, like she's just make it's Boston. Well, She's just like people are like, so what's up with the independent investigator? What's going on with that? She's like, oh man, Middlesex County used to be powerful and shit, but they're not so powerful anymore. And the documents, there's 19 pages of documents and some of them are redacted. People are like, what? 
what does this have to do with the question? And nobody cares because she just acts like she's confident and acts like she knows what she's talking about, but she's just making shit up. As much as we want to talk about, excuse me, Massachusetts, for as much as we want to talk about that Massachusetts is not racist, if you ever want to identify the racism in this state, go under a Boston 25 news article about a black person and read the comments. Go under Channel 7 news comment about any black person and read the comments. It, they are atrocious and disgusting. What does this have to do with the... individuals that follow to the blood. It, oh. You also got to pay attention to the black people who share those articles and believe them and who regurgitate that information with no basis, haven't talked to the family, haven't discussed anything, and don't realize that and I say this unequivocally, today it's her family being dragged, tomorrow it's you. No, it's they not. It's not. There's no respected person. It's the same thing I said to the police, uh, the black police officers. It's They'll they'll kill you last. It's not that you're not going to die because you're part of the blue club. It's just that they'll kill you last. What? Um, and the quicker that we as black folks realize that, the better that it will be. The reason why pressure is important is because pressure got... Um, got us results in the George Floyd case. It was protesting. Oh, was, I, thought was was I thought it was the video. I thought it was the video. At the very beginning of that case, they had no intention on following charges and actually lied and said that it was a medical situation as to how they George, did? George Floyd um, died when in all actuality he had been murdered. And it wasn't until we took to the streets and was like, hell to the no, that change began to happen. She's really crediting herself with the guilty verdict in the Chauvin trial. Like, it was all her. Actually, there might be some truth to that. But there, she's acting like the reason he was prosecuted was because Monica Cannon Grant in Boston was out there in the street saying, hell to the nah. Oh, yeah, that's why. Or it could have been the fact that it was on film. That might have had something to do with it. I don't know. Maybe. But just keep donating so have anyway. To realize that protesting has to be a part of politics. Um, and it, it, it's an essential part in getting things happening. And if more elected officials realize that there's an inside and an outside game to getting um, what we deserve and what is needed um, in regards to accountability, we will be better off. Instead of thinking that they can just file 50 million pieces of legislation, Le legislation has a trickle down. It's all effect. making sense and when you think about it. People it's all making sense. You can the cops, legislation, but by the, time the condo employee, it's actually in use in Marion Ryan, something that has Turtle been Boy, for years and years and years. Small so business owners been affected, and they almost got away with it. They almost got away with it. Till Monica in that process, that it, it's it's impossible to not cause harm. Wherein as pressure bust pipes, so. Uh, we continue to apply pressure. We're going to continue to apply pressure. I don't want no one to think that um, because it was in Hawkington that it doesn't happen here or that we're just going to let it ride or we're going to forget and we're not going to continuously seek justice or... Um, I can't even listen to this. Care. And I, think I can't even do it anymore. Uh, she is... This is the worst one yet. I mean, like you said, she's not even swearing... She's just grasping at straws at this point. She's got nobody left. I have killed Monica Cannon Grant. It is one of my one of my most proud moments. Uh, what we've done here is we have completely destroyed this woman. She has no credibility left. Everyone's abandoning her, except for her homegirl, Tori Bedford. Maybe we need to expose her ass next. And she, like, check out. I, I I played this video on Saturday night, but I didn't play the end of it. Listen to what she starts doing at the end here. Looking on this family right now. And the person who's behind it is Mary and Ryan. And, 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 and I said that was going to be the last thing, but I'm going to wrap it up. Also, we reached out to Tito spoke with a reporter from the Herald. Oh, yeah. Asked him, what was the motive? Okay. You, know, you released the article on something that was supposed to be dismissed. It wasn't what supposed was to be motive? dismissed. And Sean Carter had no answers. Yeah. Oh, we're just we're just doing we're just doing our job. Oh what, yes. What does that case from March 2020? Yeah. Not 2021. Oh yeah. 2020. Oh, it was child abuse last year. No biggie. This young lady being deceased. Oh, oh, she was abused, and that's why she killed. Her. This was from March 2020. Yeah. I don't know if y'all was clear or if I was clear when I said it earlier. 
2020. This case is from last year. Oh, guys, supposed- it was child abuse last year. She's not abused. She stopped, guys. She doesn't abuse her anymore. Be dismissed. Supposed to be, they yeah. Now extended it to July. Oh. Please, y'all. Like, I listen. I don't know how to say it any different, but what's happening here is disgusting. Oh. Disgusting. And the cover up is real. The cover up is real. It's real. So real. And before it was, nobody wanted to say anything. Now Caitlin Anderson wants to do interviews. No, her mother After did. She but. has orchestrated them jumping and beating up Michaela. Now she has to defend her family's name. Yeah, God forbid. Imagine God forbid. The privilege in that? Oh, the privilege. Caitlin Anderson's privileged. The privilege Ooh. in defending your family's name when it's young and when Michaela's not here. <laughs> so y'all pay attention the post that's going up after this is going to have all the things in it right it's going to have the post from the neighbor in regards to the cameras Ooh. it's going to have the screenshot showing you guys the difference between uh what an apple message is supposed to look like and for those of you who have apple phones you know oh what it's supposed to look like Sounds because serious. i am going to continuously force you to think and not just believe the narrative that the media tries to portray based on the relationships with these clear folks. Ooh. I'm going to force you to CSI your brain up yep. to realize what's happening to this family. What? She's got to get, I'll I figure it out. Calls. I pray to God that Ben Crump calls my phone. Ben Crump, if there is. Understand what it is to be a black parent and have a child. And go through what this family has gone through. You guys know Ben Crump is, right? Ben Crump is like the new Al Sharp. He's the, he's the official attorney of Black Lives Matter. He's represented every one of them. He's the biggest slime ball there is. Multi-millionaire who you call in. Whenever he sees like a case he likes, he's like, oh, I can make money off of this. We get a judgment here. Like that $27 million that George Floyd got, a couple million went to Ben Crump, I'm sure. Trust me on that. He's he's not stupid. He knows how to make money. And this this she's called Ben Crump up a bunch of times, she said. And she hasn't oh, got a call back. Reach out to Ben Crump. You tell him to find Monica Cannon. Right? Reach out to Ben Crump. Call him, tag him, inbox him. This is how a friend to tell a friend. We're not letting up. This is I how I want Michaela's mother's message to be global. I want so much pressure on this DA to leave that she has no choice but to step down. Oh yes. And y'all save the date. May 21st, because we're coming. We're just not quite sure where we're coming to just yet. Oh, but we're coming. Oh, we're coming. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. So this is how desperate she is. She's uh, reach, She's like, guys, I need you to reach out to Ben Crump. She's She's got nothing left. I fucking destroyed you, Monica. I've destroyed you. I'm so much better than you at this. You. She must just go to sleep at like uh, the fucking turtle boy. Oh, I hate him so much. I had such a good thing going until that fucking white boy came along from fucking Central Mass. Oh, I hate him so much. Yeah, I'm your worst fucking nightmare, Monica. And I am going nowhere. Just understand that. I will not stop exposing you until you're broke, destitute, and living on the street like the trash that you are. Okay? It's all coming to an end. Nonviolence in Boston ain't going to exist that much longer. Trust, Trust and see. Trust and see. So, all right. If anybody else has any questions, fire away. If not, we'll call it a night. Anything you guys want to talk about? Are you really going to sue her? Maybe. We'll see if I get it, if I have time for it. I would, I would hope, I hope Caitlin Anderson's mother sues. I talked to Andy No today a little bit more and uh, she did not want to talk at first. She's getting nervous, but I'm like, you can trust them. I, so I'm constantly going f- back and forth between talking to the mother and talking to Andy No and trying to get them to connect because I want the story told. I really want the story told on a bigger platform that Andy knows uh, pitching it to the New York Post. So that would be big.
Anything else? What's the number? We got it. Uh, there's no number. Sito's world. If you want to, uh, want to uh, call in on the stream yard, you can click that link. She got vice. That's all she got. To, and there was no comments on it either. This is not getting the traction she wants. I think most people look at this like, yeah, sounds kind of like bullshit. It's not really down with this one. Let's talk about oh, the opening in Holden for school committee. I am applying for the opening for the Holden school committee. Uh, and thank you very much. Uh, didn't know. It, yeah. So I am uh, um, applying for the opening for the Wachusett Regional School District. Op uh, the, uh, another member has stepped down. So there's an opening and the board of selectmen will choose. So I didn't win on the election, but I have a chance to get on. So we'll see what happens. Have I called who yet? Who are you talking about? Yeah, who is Sito? I don't. I've never seen Sito on here. I know. I got to be careful. No porn bombs. Am I going to a game? I'll probably go to a Woo Sox game eventually. You know, eventually. Any other questions you guys have? Have I called Monica? I don't have a number. Please get me. If somebody can get me Monica Cannon Grant's number, that would be fucking awesome. I'd love to call her. Yeah. Can, yeah, can you put some butter on that, Monica, if you make my cheese sandwich? Bruins caps. Bruins. When does that start? Is that starting soon? Is that Saturday it starts the playoffs? Contact Anthony Renzoni, Salakmini, back you, good friend. Yeah, I like Anthony a lot. He's good people. He's one of the Salakmini here in town. Pretty good. Pretty good, Willie. Okay. Patriots win-loss record. It's the stupid 17-game season this year, which is just so dumb. But 11-6. Uh, and six. 11 and six. That's a weird, weird. So it's so weird not to get used to it. You're so used to the 10 and six or 11 and five. Like what is the wild card now? 10 and seven. Is that how it works? I don't know. Like who's going to win the NFC East? What do you have to win? You have to go seven and 10 now to win the NFC East. Is that what you have to do? <laughs> It is. It's like, why would they fuck with this? The NFL had the most beautiful product in the world. It was so perfect. The six game playoff, I thought was perfect. The top two teams get the first round by six is the perfect number. Six out of 16 is perfect. Eight is too many. Cause like half the teams are making the playoffs. So you get some shit, mediocre teams in there Four, like with baseball is too exclusive. Where it's like, okay, six is perfect. And the two best, like you have an incentive to get to do better because then you can get a buy. And they're like, well, just make a fucking seventh because cash money. And the schedule was perfect too, because you got you got your six games in the division, right? So six of the sixteen right there. And then you got um what's it? You got your six division games, and then you play the uh one team one division from the AFC. So like, let's say the AFC South. So that's four more. That's 10. One from the NFC and they rotate every four years. You get in that different NFC one, like NFC West, let's say, and that's 14. And then for the last two games, if the, if you finished first in your division last year, you get the first place finisher from the other two remaining AFC divisions. It was fucking perfect. It was so perfect. And they're like, you know what? Let's fuck with it. Why? Because we want to make more money. It's just so stupid. So dumb. And this would have been a cool year to have. Like, if it was this year in the AFC, the Colts would not have made the playoffs with an 11-5 and record. I love when that happens. 
I love when that happens. That was the Patriots once. I love when 11 and five teams don't get in. It's just the biggest kick in the balls. Okay. No, no. Oh, I absolutely have court with Ashley. That's not even close to being done. But is that her cell? Is that her? Let's just call it right now. Fuck it. Let's call it. Oh, and thank you, Heather Schenk, for the uh, cash app donation. Let's call that number. 617-652-0151. Oh, please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to connect you. Poopy McPoopy Butt. Silence in Boston is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Yeah, I have a huge tip on the Michaela Miller investigation. I actually live two houses down from where it happened. And I was there on that night and I saw some clear folk. And let me, they were wearing um, hoods. I think they were in the clan, and they were laughing. They were like saying, oh man. We're gonna we're gonna do some things to this girl, and ain't no one gonna find out about it because we we talked to the small business, the pizza shop owner, and he was like, "Yo, I'm in on it." And then the cops were in on it, and then I called my home girl, Mary and Ryan, and she's like, "Yo, I got you. We're gonna cover this shit up, dog. Ain't no worries, ain't no thing." And like, and then at the end, like you know, we did our business, and then we all put our hands in, and we're like, "Yo, one, two, three, clear folk." That's what happened. Now, I wasn't part of this, but I know this is a fact. I saw it happen. So call me back because I cracked the case. And um, I want Monica Cannon Grant because she's doing a great job. Like she's on the right track, um, but she doesn't have, I got the extra clue. I got a lawyer. I can't tell you who it is. Um, I talked, I got an independent autopsy guy that we can call up. And uh, trust me, trust me on this one. Say no more. Say no more. Okay, call me. Bye. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, just eat my cheese sandwich. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Any more questions? <laughs> is that really a voicemail? Will they actually hear that? That would be great. But the sad part is that's literally how she's get getting information. Thank you, Lucky Ghost. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess we'll call it a night, guys. It's been real. Uh, special Wednesday night show. Um, why don't we have a prank, Janetti? Yeah, he's kind of old news. He's not even making any sense anymore. I'm sure he's not going anywhere. Like, let's be honest. Janetti will be here next week. He'll be here the week after that. He's going to be thinking about me for quite some time. So he's not going anywhere. And uh, what is that phone number I'm seeing there? Is this her cell phone? What's that number? Let's call it. We got to call it, right? I got to see where this one goes. 4126. Okay. The number you dialed is not in service. You're killing me, Penelope. All right. Uh, we will uh, talk to you guys on, oh, what the hell? This is breaking. There we go. We'll talk to you guys on Saturday night for the live show with Brett. Peace, Turtle Riders.